Hi, this is Amy at the Village School in Houston, Texas, and Laura Cortez, also from the Village School in Houston, Texas. And we're going to give you some information for Nord Anglia schools that use Skyward about how to send a link via Skyward. So you might have noticed that sometimes your links or your attachments take a really long time to go through, or none of us can send emails via Skyward because some attachments have been too large. So this video is going to teach all of us together how to solve this problem. So the first step is going to be to use your Google Apps for Education account. If you don't have a login to Google Apps for Education at your school, you can go to gmail.com and you can click on create account, which is right down here at the bottom. So just depends what your situation is. One way or the other, you want to get a working Google account. The next step is you want to navigate to drive.google.com. So this is going to take you to a storage place. If you've used Dropbox before, this is kind of a similar concept, but it's actually going to work really perfectly in conjunction with Skyward to get your messages out, all of our messages out very quickly. All right, so this is my Google Drive, and the next step we're going to take and you're going to do this too, is we're going to create a new folder. So you can see there's a blue button in the top left hand corner and we're going to click on that and choose folder. And now I'm going to call this Skyward Attachments. So I'll type in a name there and click create. And now I'm going to see my folder created right here in my list of files in Google Drive. Now I'm going to open up that folder and I'm going to put the document that I want to attach to my Skyward email into this folder. All right, so we're going to add a file to our new folder and then we're going to set permissions on this folder. So the next thing we'll do is click our new button and choose file upload. So now I'm going to navigate to the desktop of my computer and find the file that I want to attach. So I'm going to choose to attach this PDF. I'll click on it and then click open. So once my file finishes uploading to my folder, and actually I could have even done this beforehand, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the share permissions on the folder. This is so I don't have to change the permissions for every individual file every time I want to do a Skyward attachment. I can just do it one time and then anything I want to attach I can just put into this folder using that same new file upload option we just looked at. So I'll click on the down arrow next to my folder name and click on share and now we're going to go straight into the advanced options next to where it says private only you can access we'll click change and then we'll choose on anyone with the link and we'll leave this can view anyone with the link can view and we'll click save when we do that that's going to cause any file we put into this folder to adopt those permissions um, by the way, you can also drag and drop files into the folder. So I'm going to just drag and drop a file from my desktop over into this file folder. And you'll see even though this is a picture, it will still have the same shared properties as this PDF. So now let's get the link onto our computer's clipboard so that we can attach this link in Skyward. So I'm going to right click the PDF file that I want to share and I'm going to choose Get Shareable Link. And now I'm going to be able to click this link one time and hold down Control and plus, press C or Command C if you have a Mac. Now that puts that link onto your clipboard. Let's check it and make sure it worked. So I'm going to go up to the three dots in the top right and choose New Incognito Window. In the Chrome browser, this will give you a place to check and see what others will see when you send them a link. And now I'm just going to paste that link in and hit Return. So now I see the PDF displayed on the page even though I'm not logged into my account. I have an option to sign in, but I don't have to. I can download the file right here. So the next part of our video is going to be how to insert this link into the Skyward email. All right, now we're logged into Skyward and we're going to attach the link to the Skyward message. So our next step is to click on Teacher Access and then my classes 
and then from here we're going to click on message center. Oops, one more step, we're going to click on a class. All right, now we'll look for message center over on the left hand side. All right, now we have to make a decision. Do we want to add a message for multiple classes or just for the class we're in right now? So let's go ahead and practice with this option. We're going to add a message for the current class. All right, the next step is going to be to access this view style toolbar. Let me show you that one more time. So it's right up here in the top right and it says view style toolbar. So we're going to pop that menu down and that's going to allow us to see the link option. But um, the first thing we're going to do though is highlight the text that we want to link. So in order not to send that big long ugly link in the message because I don't know if you remember but it was really long and um, it would look kind of awkward. What we want to do is highlight some text and then link the text. So I'm going to slide over that to highlight it and then I'm going to click on the link button. So now I do want to send a URL. Remember we got that from Google and there it is. It's kind of long, but that's the URL. And now we should be able to just click OK. And now this is the link to our document that we stored in Google Drive. And that's it. We'll just make the rest of our message, select our posting options, and then save the message. Hopefully that helps you and all of us to send messages out quickly through Skyward. Thank you very much for watching, and you can let us know in the comments of this video if you have any questions or need any further help. Thanks. Have a good day.